after. They, 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 they. This video is not sponsored. Welcome back my beautiful friends. I have a very exciting video for you today. Today I'm going to be doing my curly hair routine upside down. That's right, you heard me, upside down. I'm gonna be styling my hair upside down today and it's something I've been wanting to try for a while because I think that we're gonna get really big volume, but at the same time, something I've also been putting off because this is extraordinarily uncomfortable. <laughs> Don't try this at home without somebody supervising you because if you get up too fast, you could get dizzy and possibly fall over. I'm gonna get up very, very carefully, but yeah, let's see what kind of volume that we can get today. <sighs> also, your voice changes when you're upside down. I feel like in my head, I sound like Shia LaBeouf. I know that sounds super strange. <laughs> I decided to switch chairs because the other chair felt like my neck was gonna snap. This is a much more comfortable setup. Let's get started. I don't know why I slapped my belly. <laughs> Let's get started. I just wet it in the bathtub with some water. I didn't actually use any hair products, and this is something I do sometimes when I just wanna give my hair a break from detergents and products and whatnot. I already did some pre-sectioning off just so we can make this process as easy as possible. I already detangled and everything. All we have to do is style. So today, all I'm gonna be using is water just to kind of re-wet some sections that have gotten kind of dry. And we will also be using the diamond brush because I considered finger coiling for this video, but it's just like, it's not gonna happen. Hey, good, the water bottle still works just as well upside down as it does right side up. Could you imagine if this was like my regular curly hair routine? Like you clicked on this video and you thought like, this is gonna be a regular curly hair routine. And like, it turns out that the person does their entire curly hair routine upside down. Would you be down to try this? This is something that you do. Like if this turns out really well, would be, you make this like your regular curly hair routine? I recommend getting a really comfy chair if you're going to do this. This chair is very comfortable. As far as being upside down goes, like I feel like this is as good as it's going to get. Free um, detangling was a genius idea because I would be struggling so hard right now. So I think the most important part is being done upside down, which is this part, styling. And of course, drying. If this turns out really well, I might like make this a regular thing and we'll like try it with actual products. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see some more upside down videos. I've never seen myself upside down before and it's kind of like, it's kind of like a little scary. <laughs> Hopefully it's not scaring you guys too much. I can't tell, but I really hope my hair is not touching the ground right now because that would be gross. Is it? I don't think so. I'm gonna pretend that it's not. Some of you guys say that you actually style your hair mostly upside down, but I'm sure you didn't mean like literally upside down like this. We have one more clip. Oh, Denim brush, you are such a lifesaver. Like the denim brush is awesome when you want to get something done quickly, like um, if you're upside down, for instance. I really want to split these two pieces in half, but I don't want to lose it. Here in the... <laughs> Amazing. Can't see what I'm doing very well, guys. And the last piece. My regular blow dryer, like I mentioned in other videos, is, um, yeah, so my converter for Thailand exploded. <laughs> Long story. It may or may not be my fault, I'm not really sure, but um, so I can't use my regular blow dryer, so I'm just using the blow dryer that was already in this apartment. And it is like a turbo, turbo, turbo blow dryer, and it's very powerful. But it dries fast, so fast is good for the sake of this video. Oh my gosh, guys, we missed a clip. We missed, like, missed, we missed three clips. Oh no. Well, we'll definitely have to rewet those sections. We missed one here. I'm like, I was looking and feeling, like how did I not notice it? I'm like, something feels weird. And that is because, <laughs> oh no, I dropped my denim brush though. Where did it drop? Okay, I'm staying upside down. Uh, can't, okay, good. It didn't get thrown that far away. Good, 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 okay. This is a disaster. The clip is stuck in my hair. Okay, got it. <laughs> got it. Uh, last one. Oh, no, it's stuck. It's stuck. It's stuck. It's stuck. Okay, got it. That was already a botched job. 
I think I got them all. Yes. Yes, I definitely did. Oh, that feels so much better. How did I not realize? I've been in the comments, you guys, like, Amanda, you missed a clip, you missed a clip. Can't you see? No, I can't see. I feel like this could have turned out a lot better for two reasons. If I had finger coiled, because um, as you noticed when I was using the Denman brush, I was just kind of like going through it really roughly in really big sections because I wanted to finish as fast as possible because my head felt like it was going to explode. Second thing, um, this renegade blow dryer without a diffuser attachment is just like kind of like a recipe for uncertainty like you never really know how your hair is going to turn out it could turn into a giant frizz ball because not only is there no diffuser attachment but it is so powerful it's like a leaf blower so yeah i think things got like a little bit frizzier than they needed to be uh, if you're going to try this yourself, I'm sure, like 100% sure that it would turn out way better than mine did. But um, it was fun. And I think I want to try this again with hair products. Also, obviously you don't have to style your hair upside down like this. You can just lean your head forwards. I couldn't do that for this video because then you'd be staring at the back of my head for 10 minutes. So that would be much easier than what I'm doing. And you probably won't get as dizzy. We are dried. I think we're done. I think we're ready to be right side up. At least I am. Okay, so I'm gonna get up very, very slowly. Oh. Ah. Okay. Are you guys ready for the big reveal? Ah. Oh, it's so nice to be right side up again. Okay, let's see what happened. Whew. Let's see what happened. Uh, this is what it did. It is definitely bigger. It is definitely, um, it's definitely a lot fluffier and um, frizzier than obviously my finger coils. And because I did my Demon brush in such large sections, my curls are definitely very separated, but it's big, hey. And you know what? I feel like I could probably try it about maybe about like 10% more. I'm gonna let the, this air dry actually for the remaining, sorry. Oh my goodness. Doing this upside down, like I feel like a little, a little like nauseous because I just ate. Don't do this after you just ate. Learn from my mistakes. Guys, I think it looks really big and it definitely made a difference. It definitely is volumized. Would I do this again? Maybe. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Do you want me to see? Do you want to see me do this again, but with hair products? That would be fun. Uh, maybe next time we can try finger coiling first and then drying it upside down. Because I don't think I could finger coil upside down. I don't know if I have the skills for that. Let's have a closer look at this. It is definitely big bigger. It is definitely frizzier, but. Um, it's fun, it's fun, all right. Um, I'm going to let this dry, like I said, a little bit more and then I will show you what it looks like. It'll probably be completely dried in about know, like half an hour. Well, let's let it dry a little bit more and see what it looks like. Well, my friends, we are 100% dried and I'm feeling much better now that the blood has gone back to my stomach and my food has started digesting properly again. This was really fun and I'm actually really loving how big and fluffy it is. I didn't think that my hair could get bigger, but it just did, I think. So, and this isn't even with finger curling. This is just with the Denman brush like done um, not that well, might I add. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think of the upside down curly hair, Dina? Should we do this again with products or um, yeah, just let me know what you think in general. Do you like the look of it? Do you like the look of this like kind of like frizzier, um, more disheveled, less kind of perfect looking curly hair routine? And what do you think of um, using only water in your hair? So there's no water, I mean, there's only water in my hair. I didn't use any hair products like you saw. And what do you think of that? I kind of like it. I kind of like giving my hair a break from products once in a while. And what I want, like the feeling of like freshly washed hair, but I just don't feel like actually actually um, cleansing and conditioning and putting in styling products and all that other stuff. All right, so I love you so much. Subscribe if you haven't already to join the family. I make videos like these, lifestyle videos, and curly hair videos. All right, I love you so much. I will see you in the next video. Mwah.
if anyone can guess what song I was just tapping, you win a prize, and that is a internet kiss for me. Mwah. <laughs>